In this presentation, we will see one more way of declaring a type of the structure using typedef. So let's get started. Here is a syntax of typedef. We first have to specify this keyword typedef, then the existing data type, and then the new data type. This existing data type will get replaced by this new data type. Okay. Typedef gives freedom to the user by allowing them to create their own types. That means it is actually helping the user to create their own types. For example, this is the old type and this is the new type, right? Old type is now replaced by new type. Wherever we use int, we can use integer. For example, within this main function, int can be replaced by integer. Here we have declared a variable var, which is of type int and the value assigned to it is 100. We can print this value on the screen, but we can see here int is now replaced by integer. Okay. This is what we have learned in the previous lecture. This is the way we can declare a type of the structure using structure tag. This is the structure tag and this is actually helping us to declare a variable within the local scope. A variable can be declared over here in the global scope or it can be declared in the local scope, right? It totally depends on us. Here, this variable c1 is declared within the local scope, that is within the main function. Now, instead of writing this whole type every time in our main function, we can replace this type by a new type using type def. Okay. So instead of writing struct car every time, we can write our own type, which is actually defined using type def. We just have to specify this type def keyword before this old type, and then we have to specify this new type. This is the old type, and this is the new type. Now we can replace this whole struct car by car. Now car becomes a new data type. So type def is helping us to create our own type. And this is another way of defining a structure type. Previously, we have the structure tag as the type. Now we have a new type, which is created with type def. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.